you know why we're here. We are doing a shop or drop on the newest collection that Pat McGrath has just revealed today. And I want to talk about it. If you're new here, my shop or drops, like I don't... I don't have the collection. I will be ordering it with the rest of y'all waiting by my computer. <laughs> oh, I guess that answered that. I will be shopping this collection, but we'll talk about what I'm shopping and what I'm dropping. But in these videos, I just go over my thoughts, my first impressions, my initial reaction, as well as your guys' in anticipation for this collection. The reveal is, drum roll please. Another Star Wars and Pat McGrath collection. So this is not the first time that she's done this. Now, let me preface this video with, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I, nothing against Star Wars. I just don't like that type of movie, uh, those types of movies. But I have purchased some Star Wars stuff in the past from her, and she just did a collection reveal. It was bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. So let, let's do it. So this is on her Instagram right now. Let's watch the reveal video together. Are you ready? You can see right here already the mothership palette that we have in the collection and this is what I did not expect them to have. The packaging of the lip products looks incredible. So this is the Midnight Sun palette Star Wars edition. Look how cool the packaging is. This is a palette that already exists in the line. We'll talk about it because some of us are very disappointed about that but not a new Mothership palette, unfortunately, but the packaging of these products, these are the Quince packaging, looks so cool, and these are new, as far as I'm aware, so I'm excited about that. We have a new formula, these Chromalux Artistry pigments in four shades. We have some, uh, these are already existing products, so these aren't new. I'll tell you guys about my thoughts on that. Um, and there also is Lust Glosses. I already own all of these colors, so. And then we have some Metallic li Liquid Lipsticks, which is so, like, 2014. But, yeah, that's the collection overall that was just revealed. A lot of you guys called it. You said you think it's a Star Wars collection because she had Star Wars music playing in the teaser videos. I think this packaging looks so cool of the palette. If you like Star Wars, how neat is that? I love that. I'm going to try and pause at areas that look really interesting. But... This collection is going to be available on December 16th. Okay, I'm going to pause right here because I want to talk about these. But this collection is going to be launching December 16th. I'm going to have the link down below if you want to get VIP early access. But I also post the access code and all of that on my page the morning of as well. So it has, like I said, I'm reading the side of Pat McGrath's Instagram page right now. These are called the Divine Droid Eyeshadow Palette Star Wars Edition, though I believe all of these are new. I haven't seen these before, but you know the Mothership is already existing. Let's take a closer look. So luckily, on the Pat McGrath website, we actually have all of the details. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys there, and then we're going to start talking about my personal thoughts on this. So this is the pa page right here where you have all of the details of the collection. And look at these, you guys. These promo pictures look beautiful. So if you scroll down, though, we have all of the details of each of the items. Unfortunately, you can't click on the items like the normal website. But you'll see we have the Mothership Midnight Sun Star Wars edition. Not excited about this. Midnight Sun has been out for a while. And it's been the palette that you can get off for like 40% off. So really there's no incentive to purchasing this at full price at all. This will be on sale. This exact palette minus the Star Wars packaging is literally on sale for $77 on the website. So... Why would you pay $128 for the for that one when you can get it for $77? Pat! Come on now. It's not a new palette. You have to be a diehard Star Wars fan to want this packaging, which the packaging, as we saw, is really, really neat. But 
this isn't even my favorite Pat McGrath palette. I think it's nice. I think it was a bit underrated. I didn't like it as much at first, but it's grown on me as time has gone on. It has some really pretty earthy tones. Let me pull mine out. Mine has pans though that are falling out that I need to glue back in, so I need to be very careful here. Yeah, look, this one got all messed up from falling out. I think mine are in the wrong order from falling out, but anyways. It's a pretty palette, it has pretty earthy tones. I love the pop of purple, but this isn't the It palette from Pat McGrath, if you ask me. It's not my favorite, so I'm not that excited about it. I can see, I guess, why she chose it for Star Wars. It is a little bit galactic. I have, I have a theory. I think Pat McGrath for these Star Wars collections, she picks whatever items aren't selling as well that she has overstock on and and changes the packaging, <laughs> if I'm being honest here. So this one will be a drop for me. I don't need it. I already have the palette. It's not even that exciting of a palette, and I'm not a Star Wars fan, so that doesn't make sense for me. But what I do want to talk about are these three eyeshadow palettes, the eyeshadow palette stars. So these are going to be $36 and honestly I think this is a good price for Pat McGrath and she first launched this style of palette when holiday collection launched, the most recent holiday collection and I was in love with the palettes that launched. I feel like there's something special and different about these formulas. They're very, they're more luxury as opposed to super glimmery. Not that the glimmeriness isn't luxury, but there's something a little bit more amped up Tom Ford-esque style, like super duper finely milled, just something. There's just something about them. So I'm really excited about these. So this one right here, Divine Droid. How fun is this? Pat McGrath does not launch colorful palettes like this. And I know we still have the gold. Oh, well, I actually know this is a lime green shade. The, she has a lime green. Now this is like, I think this is gold. We have a baby blue. I wish there were swatches that I could click to see these. And then a dark purple. So I definitely want this because I want some colorful shades for Pat McGrath. Give them to me. That's definitely a shop. Then we have this one right here, which are these kind of dark galaxy shades. This is Sith Seduction. And this one has what I feel like some more cool tone neutral shades right here. We have a classic kind of galactic black with some glitters. We also have this gold, a dark green. I think a lot of you guys are going to like this one. It's more on the neutral side, but it has that Star Wars kind of feel to it, right? And then the other one launching down here, now this one is the least exciting, the golden one. It's literally called the golden one. Very boring. This, this is what Pat McGrath launches all of the time. I feel like we probably have all of these shades in our collection already from Pat McGrath, though this is a new formula from her, assuming that these are the same formula that was in the most recent quince that launched in her holiday collection. I have no excitement towards this. I will be shopping it though. I'm going to buy all three of the Quince shops for sure. But this one, I'm kind of bored. I don't like that color, sorry. But these two, these two, I stop it. These two I really, really like. And then we have a new formula that I'm excited to try. These are the Chroma Lux Artistry Pigment Star Wars Edition pigments, which I don't think she's ever come out with these before. She definitely hasn't. These are a little pricey in that for one shade, it's $32, but that's how much these types of items cost. So they're going to come in the cute Star Wars box, but these remind me of like tar. I have a lot of these in my collection. I do not need these, but this first one, Smuggler Spice, is a metallic rose with golden peach iridescence. I feel like I have something like this from Tarte, but I'm going to try it. And then this one looks gorgeous too, the Extra Galactic Gold, which is a metallic antique molten gold. I bet you this one's going to be beautiful all over the eyelid. This one I'm not feeling quite so much, Rouge Rebellion. This one might be a drop for me, we'll see. I just don't see myself using this type of shade ever, really. I'm not putting shades like this all over my lid. And kind of same with Falcon Noir, which is a metallic anthracite with blue undertones. These are a bit deep for me. I think I might buy them anyways because I love Pat McGrath. <laughs> and for you guys as well for the swatches. But if I didn't 
have the opportunity to film reviews on these, I would purchase these two and I would drop these two because they're just not colors that I'm normally going to use, but I feel like these are going to be good. I'm interested to see if these are going to be like chrome, like well, what are we working with here? Because she didn't really post any swatches yet, so I don't know. And then this is where I think she's putting items that she has overstock on. This is just my assumptions, but I think these are overstock items that she stuck a Star Wars sticker on. We have these Legendary Wear Metallic Lipstick Star Wars Edition. This is so outdated in terms of like out of style, I guess is what I want to use. Nobody's wearing metallic lipsticks, but it does fit with the theme. So that was a good opportunity. I believe these shades have already existed, though I could be wrong. I'm not using any of these. I'm dropping them. I have no need for them. As well as the lip glosses, Bronze Venus, Pale Nectar Fire, Carnal Desire. I own all three of these, so these are already existing. I'm telling you, don't put the Star Wars sticker on these because they weren't being sold. Same thing with the mascara. This mascara has been on sale for 50% off for so long, so why not just pop Star Wars on there? And then, I, again, speculation here, but these must not have sold well during the holiday season because these just launched in the most recent holiday launch. And I said, who, not many of us are going to be wearing colorful mascara. So I imagine that we popped them in this collection. I'm sorry. I'm not a Pam McGrath hater. You know I love her, but that's what I'm assuming because none of these products appeal to me whatsoever. I mean, the lip glosses are really pretty. I particularly really like Pale Nectar Fire, but I already own them. These aren't new shades. It's not that exciting. So the thing is, like, this is not Pam McGrath's first Star Wars collection. She has launched Star Wars collections before, and she's done new items for the collection, but she's also repackaged existing Mothership palettes. Some of you were surprised that it wasn't a new Mothership palette. Honestly, I wasn't. Pam McGrath launches one Mothership palette a year. It's been that way since the beginning of the brand. Um, for the last time that she repackaged a Mothership palette, I believe it was another one that I, I didn't like as much. It wasn't an exciting palette. I can't remember the name of it at the top of my head, but it was all gold packaging. But it was a palette that wasn't really that popular. So, yeah. All I plan on picking up really is the eyeshadow quince, the eyeshadow chrome pots, and then I am dropping everything else. So, yeah. But I did ask on my Instagram what your guys' thoughts were, and I want to share the good ones with you guys. Now, early bird gets the worm. I'm just going to go ahead and start for those of you that answered my question about your thoughts on this. So here's my post. If you missed it, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can participate. All right, let's see your guys' thoughts. She can't come up with a new mothership. Hate that it's repackaging. Quince, eh, maybe. So, yeah, I mean, she's done this before. In my opinion, she's just not going to launch more than one mothership. I'm not surprised about that. But, yeah, it is disappointing. If it was a new mothership, how freaking exciting would that be, right? I like the color story of the five pans. The mothership is just lazy. So I think you guys were sensing what I was sensing as well. I like the smaller palettes better. I'm excited for those. Yeah, I think we all are. I think the color stories, two of them at least, look a little bit more fresh for the brand. I know I love the formula, so I'm also very, very excited about those. Super disappointing. Midnight Sun, again, I hate it. The rest looks bleh. <laughs> and then I guess Moira, is that a brand? Better get those ones. Okay, yeah, oh, it's very negative today. How many people are going to drop another 128 just for new packaging? That's exactly what I said. Don't buy the Pam McGrath or the Star Wars version of the Midnight Sun. Just wait. You can get it on sale. I already have that Mothership palette. I think a lot of people do, especially if you were able to get them on discounts, you know, if you're a collector or not even a collector, but just a fan of the brand. Bum the Mothership is just a repackaging. No fun palette. And then I don't know if I love the minis. I will be reviewing that to let you know. Midnight Sun again. Hmm. Not loving the color combinations, but love the packaging. Okay, 
If you look at the packaging, the packaging of this is absolutely insane. All of the boxes, if you love Star Wars, I'm sorry, you're going to have to keep those boxes. But the color stories, I don't dislike the color combinations, but I'm not drooling over any except for Divine Joy just because it's a little different than what we're used to from Pat McGrath. I love the Sith Seduction. So that one is like the dark one with the dark green, the galactic black. That one is very nice. I think a lot of you guys will like that that are a little bit more neutral, but not completely boring. Want something a little bit more than just the gold palette. As you guys can see, oh, this one's the first one that said I'm happy, but listen. <laughs> I'm happy because I already thought I had to spend money, but that's not the case. This this collection might be serving you guys some money that you thought you were going to spend. So Leah said, I think I'm going to finally bite the bullet. I think this will be my first Mothership palette. So my suggestion for you, Leah, if you are a fan of Star Wars and that's the main reason you want to purchase it, go for it. You know, I don't judge for purchasing just for the packaging, but... If you don't care so much for the packaging, don't buy this one. Wait, there will be bit better sales so you don't have to pay full price for this. All this anticipation for Midnight Sun. Star Wars fan here, but not buying. You heard it here first from a Star Wars fan herself. Super cute packaging, but the color stories aren't wowing me. There definitely was so much focus on the packaging for this, just in general, because, I mean, most of these items coming back are, you know, already existed. So they did a lot of work for the packaging and probably not the products. I don't know whether to get the Mega or the Minis. If you're referring to the Mega as the one from the Holiday Palette or these Minis, I mean, if you like the color, get the Mega. But if you're referring to the Mega as the big mothership in the Star Wars, don't get that, you can get that another time. Get the Minis. Those color stories seem beautiful. Positive one. Love to see it. Pass. Fair. It'd be better just to buy the ColourPop collabs. Interesting take because you know what? ColourPop has done some really nice collaborations with Star Wars. So if you want the Star Wars stuff or some Star Wars stuff but don't want to break the bank, ColourPop has had some nice collections with Star Wars. I think I reviewed one of them and then they're constantly coming out with like nine panners that they do in collaboration with Star Wars. So that is a good option to go if you're a Star Wars fan watching this video. Yeah, I mean, as I'm going through, we all love the packaging, but meh, disappointed, repackaged. You guys are um, on my wavelength, as I can say. So there we have it. That was my sharper drop of the new Star Wars collection. This will launch December 16th, so make sure you have my notification bell on because I will be giving you guys the discount code and the links as soon as they go live. And I think I'm going to have this sent to my parents' house because you know how shipping sometimes takes a while? By the way, be prepared for that, for shipping to take a while. I think I'll be at my parents' house by the time this arrives, hopefully. Uh, but I will try and review what I do end up picking up from this collection. And overall, I'm excited about the minis. And I'm excited to try the new pigment formulation from Pat McGrath. But, meh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I want to hear your thoughts on this collection, so make sure you comment down below. What are we thinking? Are you picking this up? Are you not? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.